I want to introduce you to Forest Stump. Forest Stump is a spotted salamander. North Carolina claims the highest number of different species of salamanders of any other state, which is really, really awesome. And one of the more common, that means there's more of them, is the spotted salamander. But that doesn't mean that you may have seen one. I never saw one until I was a grown up. They're tricky to find. And when I first looked them up, there was this word used to describe them called fossorial. Think of the word fossil. So a fossil is something maybe you dig up in the ground because it's buried, right? And so an uh, animal that's fossorial likes to be down in the ground, down in the dirt, just like earthworms. So in fact, that's one of the things that forest stump here would love to have to eat is an earthworm. Here at the zoo, he gets some crickets and they're farm raised and, you know, gourmet quality crickets. But he is a full grown, um, spotted salamander. His skin is porous, so I'm wearing gloves to protect him because he breathes through his skin, just like frogs do. Their skin's kind of like a sponge. So I'm wearing gloves to protect him from the oils and germs on my hands, even though I wash them. And I put a little bit of really extra clean water on my hands because he likes to stay moist. This is daytime when we're filming for you guys so you can see better, but these guys would only come out at night. He would definitely not be coming out um, into the open during the day. He would dry out and that would be really bad for Forrest. Forrest actually um, came from our trail near here. Uh, it's called Purgatory Mountain Trail. And so um, he's definitely a North Carolina native. And they are they eat meat for the most part. So bugs, earthworms, things that they would find down in the dirt. But he's a cool critter. So while we're talking about mud and dirt play, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite animals that likes to be down in the dirt. And that would be his habitat, down in the dirt. They, um, they have a really cool story about when they have babies. So the, the female spotted salamanders will lay eggs. Um, the males and females will come out late winter on like a warm rainy night in February. And they'll find very special pools. Um, there's lots of names for them. Ephemeral, vernal, temporary. So they're a little pool that is, it's not a pool year round. And so, because they don't want fish, they don't want to go in water that has fish to lay their eggs because the fish will eat their eggs. And they hatch out and very similar to tadpoles, but they have little exterior gills. So the little babies look like little baby dragons. Yeah, Forrest is a really cool, cool critter. All righty, well, I think he's ready to go hide again and get out of this, this warm, sunny day. You guys have a great time, and I uh, hope you could get out and play in some dirt.